Hello everyone, um, this is Christina with Amori Designs. Well, I'm making a video. Um, I had a friend of mine, her name is Miriam. She asked me to be a guest design team for the month of January. And the theme was uh, white on white. So I wanted to share some of the little things uh, she sent to me. I actually buy um, quite a few things from her every time from her store. Um, I've been trying to be a good girl lately. But she has an awesome store. Has a bunch of awesome things. And this is the, um, the design package that she sent. I put everything in this little container here. A lot of pearls and if you see there's a bunch of different ones I've used quite a few things on the project that I made and I actually got this pencil thing from her and it actually works so I'm using my phone oops I'm using my phone so bear with me it does work <laughs> anyways they come up I'm determined to use one hold a second see ta-da well, anyways, she has these on her store as well, these pencils. Like I said, I've bought a, quite a few things from her. Um, she always has great customer service, fast delivery. Um, she's just an awesome person and fantastic prices as well. I um, just wanted to share a few of the little pearls and stuff. There's a different sizes and, I mean, there's little hearts and stars and tiny little gems and just... You have to go see her store so you can understand what I'm saying. She has a lot of little awesome things and big things too. So this is some of the stuff that she sent. I put in a little glass container to keep up with everything. She also sent these. I didn't get to make. Um, I was going to make a, what are those, head pins. See, she sent little, um, little two, I guess they're like tulips. I didn't get to make that. I've bought some of these dominoes from her before as well. See, she has a lot of, lot of great things. And then I love her corners. See, she has these on the project that I use. She sent the smaller ones, so I use those. You know, actually on these two, um, what I've done, I've used rub and buff to change the colors. And I've used them as they are. I used, I mean, you can do different things with them. Like I said, I love the, I love your corners, Miriam. All the corners you have. I really have to buy some more. So these are some that she sent me. I have big stashes of it as well. This is one of the flowers that I actually do on some, use on some of my projects as well. And on the project that I made for her uh, design team. You'll see what I've done because usually on um, like this one, I cut in the middle here and I made some of these little petals as leaves since the theme was white on white. And then also I had like three petals left so I just adhered it to the edge of my canvas. You'll see what I'm talking about in a few. Okay, here, here are some, I don't know what these are called, um, sliders. I, and she sent some ribbon with it. I didn't get to use the ribbon, but what I did with one of these, I, um, let me show you. Do I have it in here? Yes. What I did with one of these, I actually, someone probably already did it, but I was all excited because I, I found how to do it. See? Ta-da! I put a pearl in the middle. Isn't that cool? I thought so. Okay. And then she also has um, different size pearls. The flat black pearls. Flat back pearls. Sorry. And these are really pretty too. You use them in center as flowers. In the middle of the flowers. And here's some other tiny ones. And on these right here, there are some little bitty ones that she has. Sorry about that. I'm trying to see. See? See those little ones? Aren't they cute? I think so. Alrighty. And then let me move some of this stuff out of my way. Well, as I'm here talking and rambling about uh, Miriam... She does have a store on Facebook called The Craft Source, 
and also has a blog called miriamscraftingblog.com and um, you have to go up there and check her out she has a lot of things this is also another thing that I bought from her she didn't send this to me but I did buy it from her store and I bought quite a few I used this piece for my canvas that I made and let me show you also what I did with this sorry I went and I bought I think she has canvases as well on her at her store don't quote me but I think I did see it I bought a canvas at the like it says 8 by 10 canvas panel and on my canvas I used a lot of um modeling paste um and then I put this on top see I like the little lady and stuff and I just wanted to share that because I did get that from her store I have a lot of things in my craft room that I bought from her okay well here's the project that I made for her for the um, guest design team for the month of January and the theme was white on white I try to keep it white on white she did say we I could add a little color to it so I hope everyone likes it I thought I, I think I did a great job I always say I do bad but let's see what everybody thinks I did see how she has a small corner in there I did use some um, small uh, little gems that she had that butterfly was copper and I colored it white and I used a glossy accents and then a glaze on top of it that's where I tell you I used half of that um, that flower that she has see if you're going down I used a piece of vellum and I stamped the stamp it says moments in time and I used some recollection flowers there see there goes that little thing that I told you I made with the pearl and that really made it put it together um, and <laughs> I put it in the middle of one of the recollection flowers here I used a little wooden piece that I colored again I used a lot of her pearls and if you see on the canvas I when I use my modeling paste I put lace on it just to give it some texture here was the other end of the the corners I put a little slider there I used some wild orchard flowers and I used a lot of her um, the pearls because I, I just like the look and I, I love I just love the pearls and here I use some another one those little flowers but this is a smaller one and I put a one of the big flat back pearls on there and I used some appliques that I had it was a big applique and I put it I just cut it in certain parts just to make it so you can see the flower up here I used a small trim with some wild orchard little flowers again I used um, a lot of her little pearls and see that's where you see this little oops sorry where you see this the little lady um, that's where I put that what I showed you this give me one second this is what I put on here and I thought it was a great idea and I made her try to make her into a fairy um, I painted her first I had put some glitter on her didn't like it so I painted it I put put some white paint on there and I used this kind of paint the acrylic paint and then then I sprinkled just a little bit of glitter on there then I put um, half of a butterfly just to make it a little fairy and on her hair I used some of the little pearls that Miriam sent me to make a little kind of a little headband thing and her hair I used some walnut crystals I believe I bought these from her store I think I think I think but I used that and then I used them um, after I was done I actually used some Liquitex 
it's a glazing medium to put all over my canvas just to give it some kind of glazing shine or something however you want to say it I use the skeleton um, leaves again this is my project that I did for Miriam um, I really appreciate her asking me to be a part of her guest design team for the month of January I really hope she likes it and hope everyone likes it because I worked really hard on it it took me a while because I didn't know what to put together but then then I did alrighty well thank you for watching happy crafting